Good morning, everyone. There will be a DSP video, but there's so much gaming news out there. I thought we would go over it. So here we go. We start off with American Girl. What? Yes, American Girl. Game on. I, I can't hate this. I, I can't hate this. I know. I know. I should hate this. The American Girls are expensive. But look how cool this is. You get a you get a gaming theme sticker per, personalized the console. You get little disc holders, mesh ready controller to fit in doll's hand. Oh, okay. Interchangeable screens to simulate gameplay. You get sleek headphones around the doll and sound. Yo, it's gonna be expensive, but let, let's check out how much they want for all this so the american girl gaming headset it's about uh 60 bucks it seems like which is not bad comes with a juice box and american girl fruit candy i guess if you had your own american girl doll all right let's check the the xbox gaming set I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is going to get me a little bit of hate, but I fucking love this. I, I really do. I fucking love all of this. I think this is great. And I understand that coming from me. And I don't have a problem with this. It's the problem of the lying that we know that that la later little Susie's going to grow up to be a thought. That's really the problem. It's not that the gaming accessories for little girls is the path for them is really sad and that's the problem it's not them being gamer girls all that stuff and you know we have people like Derek running around oh boy like I, I, I love this I, I, I love this to pieces I think this is fucking great it builds up girls characters and it even comes with a small well, we'll go to the uh, the actual story right here. Screen Rat. American Girl doll set to include tiny Xbox and Game Pass subscription. It even has a Game Pass subscription as a, a collaboration between American Girl and Xbox has resulted in a series of shockingly accurate miniature replicas of video game hardware. Fuck yeah. An unexpected collaboration has led to an American Girl doll set, which includes a miniature Xbox Series X, an Xbox Game Pass subscription. Microsoft Xbox line has been a huge staple of the video game industry for years, offering stiff competition to rival Sony and Nintendo. The newest part of the console lineage, the Xbox Series X and S, has been hugely successful. Though many players are still unable to find the system in stock, one of the greatest strengths of the of the Xbox brand is Xbox Game Pass. Yes, a subscription streaming service which gives users access to huge libraries of games. These titles are available to players at any time. Though several games are frequently removed from the service, Xbox Game Pass features older releases, but many modern games are actually launched on game pass along with other consoles while many rumors circulate about xbox game pass spreading to other consoles xbox head phil spencer recently denied rumors coming to the nintendo switch it is unusual turn of events xbox has teamed up with american girl to create a brand new set of plastic gamer accessories the american girl plus xbox gaming set bundle includes everything a doll could need to enjoy a night of intense <laughs> 
Xbox gameplay. The set includes a chair, a miniature Xbox Series X, a headset, and some yummy snacks, two controllers, a fake Xbox Game Pass, an activation card, and more. The tiny replica prop are actually impressively lifelike, with the Xbox Series X even including a slot to insert a tiny fake game disc. The American Girl Plus Xbox Gaming Set to include real life Game Pass Ultimate card, which adults can use to activate a 30 day subscription to the service. Xbox is a massive brand, so crossover merchandise is not exactly a new occurrence. Microsoft recently gave away an Xbox Series S themed suitcase to celebrate the console's launch of Microsoft Flight Simulator. The popular title previously released on PC puts players behind the wheel of a realistic plane as it flies through the sky. Mapping technology is used to replicate real world, allowing players to soar above rough approximation of actual terrain and landmarks. The Xbox Series S suitcase is specially molded to fit an Xbox Series S, a controller, a portable monitor for gaming on the go. Another unexpected Xbox collaboration was commenced recently and is a bit tastier than a suitcase as part of a cross promotion with Krispy Kreme and selling an Xbox Series S themed donut with a contest with customers to win an actual Xbox Series S console. The Xbox brand is immensely popular with consoles and exclusive titles known all around the world. This popularity led to many crossover promotions as the other brands seek to find exposure of their own. The American Girl Plus Xbox gaming set may serve as thoughtful gift for the any young gamer. The miniature replicas of iconic Xbox gear are actually quite impressive with care and detail bringing the video game system to life in surprising ways. I fucking agree. This is awesome. Good job, American Girl. You did something that I actually don't hate you for. Speaking of hate, speaking of games that that got too much praise speaking of games that don't want to go away speaking of the fucking meme that won't go away speaking of they have to release it again skyrim 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 (laughs) yep it's that time again that skyrim gets another update and breaks shit and not be very good again maybe now they're owned by microsoft it'll be good this time who fucking know So Skyrim's getting a next-gen upgrade exactly 10 years after its original release. The game is getting fishing, too. Uh Uh-oh, you can fish in Skyrim now. Nearly nearly a decade after its original release, Bethesda Softworks is announcing a new update coming to its acclaimed hit, Skyrim. On November 11th, exactly 10 years after its original launch date, the game is getting a free next-gen upgrade that will be available to all owners of Skyrim Special Edition. And n- that's not all. Bethesda is going to add three pieces of cre- Creation Club content to the game to all Special Edition owners, including the ability to go fishing. Well, that's fantastic. Bethesda is also, is also re-releasing another addition to the game on November 11, which is aptly named the Skyrim. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition. This version includes everything in a special edition. The three free pieces of Creation Club content and over 500 pieces of unique content from the Creation Club, including quests, weapons, and more. If you already own special edition or or play the game on Game Pass, Bethesda will let you purchase an upgrade to Anniversary Edition, but hasn't detailed the price. If you own special edition or or play the game on Game Pass. What? It says free next generation upgrade. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, these these upgrades are getting messier and messier all the time. It's really crazy. With the upcoming next gen upgrade, Skyrim will have been ported across three entire console generations. Bethesda also released a VR port. And, perf- and perhaps most famously, a port for Amazon Alexa Assistant called Skyrim, very special edition. Yep. Yep. Skyrim will not fucking die. Now, I've been playing this. Uh, I'll put it up for you guys to watch. Uh, I've been playing the new Quake 
Yes, they re-released Quake for uh, Xbox. It's fucking fantastic. If you haven't played Quake, you should download it. It's one gig. And also, 12 Minutes is up there in another game that I can't think of. It's it's a lot. So, here's a run, rundown of all three Quake games. Quake, developed by the World Way. It's software, so the original. So, developed by the award-winning id software, Quake is the groundbreaking original dark fantasy first-person shooter that inspired today's retro-style first-person shooters. Experience the original game, enhance, enjoy the original aesthetic version of Quake, now up to 4K and widescreen resolution support. Enhanced models that dynamic and color lighting, anti-aliasing, depth of view, original aphotrophic soundtrack and theme song by Trent Reznor and more. There's never been a better time to play Quake. Absolutely. There is not a better time. Originally, okay, so this is Quake 2. Originally released by id Software, Quake 2 is a fast paced sci fi shooter. You're a bitter man of, of the few Marines who survived the horrible drop onto an alien planet ruled by Strog. A race of warriors. We're just going to, that, that's the features of it. But here's the features. Complete the the arena internal greatest warriors from across the dimension in time of force fight to each other to the death. So yeah, Quake 3 Arena and Quake now are on Game Pass. Fucking fantastic. And also 12 minutes is on there. Man, I pre-ordered one of these. No, seriously, I pre-ordered one of these. Okay, I'm New entry lever wired Xbox headset announced. The only reason is I don't need a wireless headphones for the Xbox or the PS4. And I could use it on my PC. Microsoft has announced a new entry level wired Xbox headset priced at $59.99, 60 bucks. Scribe is a great entry level headset that includes features from their previous wireless headset. The new wired headset is up for pre-order for the official Xbox store and Amazon editors note. Okay. So what's great about this headset is it's, it does have a 3.5 millimeter millimeter port, but it also has windows Sonic. So it has all that stuff and it has windows, Sonic, Dolby Asmo and DTS headphone X. So the headphones include offer starts, love ear cup, large ear cups, love here cups onboard volume and mute controls and even includes spatial sound technology support for things like windows sonic dolby atmos and dtx headphone x 60 bucks you get this wonderful headphones that you can hear everything now i love these so i I pre-ordered them i pre-ordered them i i thought why the fuck not 60 bucks for for these they sound great Sounds like a deal of a lifetime to me. The whole world is burning. Sometimes the only way to put out the flames is with more fire. This is the theater of war, Arthur. The 
no curtain call for bravery. Bravery is what comes after, not what you were in the moment. access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid, Mastercraft, and Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, so Call of Duty, the new COD is coming out. Looks good. Looks good. I mean, that's just a teaser trailer, so don't don't get all razzy razzy about it, but you know what? November 5th, you got games coming out November 10th. November's shaping up to be a very good gaming month again. I'm so glad November's back. It seemed like for a while it's going to be a little bit of October, but November 5th's coming up soon. I wonder what they, they announced Call of Duty now so late in the year. But going back to World War II, I, I honestly can't, but. We'll see. I haven't played it yet, so I can't say that it sucks or whatever. World War II just seems so played out. Sometimes they just they bring it back for shits and giggles. And I know some people go like, they're going back to Call of Duty's roots with this one. I'm like, okay, that's cool. We'll see. I thought Black Ops was not bad. This Black Ops... And I really liked Modern Warfare, so who knows what they're going to do with that one. Oh, well. There you go. Call of Duty Vanguard. The game that I was looking up, sorry, it's called Recompile. So there's three games that came out for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. It's Recompile. That was the Metroidvania game. And Train World Simulator in 12 minutes in Quake. One, two, and three, the game that you see here. So there's a lot of games that come out for the uh the Xbox. I fucking love Game Pass. The games are great and things are coming out at a very, very high clip. And that's the thing. It's if unless they can get more consoles out there, it's gonna be great. And now they got cheaper headphones for people to hear sound. Xbox is firing on all cylinders and it's exciting it's good to see microsoft fighting it's it's great if you're an xbox fan i believed in them so hard i bought an xbox series s and x i, I want xbox to do well i want playstation to do well i want nintendo to do well and it's nice to see xbox doing things outside the norm it really is and yeah, it's nice to see that we're in the hardcore gaming season. There's gaming news. That American Girl doll thing looks amazing. And that's the thing. Doesn't have to be very good, but there's your little gaming news. If I missed a few things, that's okay. We'll get them on the next time. And for everyone else, like I said, there'll be another DSP video. Peace out and have a great day.